family. You build it because of this great respect for God. God had warned him about things that could not yet be seen. Because of his faith, he showed the world that it was guilty. Because of his faith, he was considered right with God. Happy Sabbath. I'm going to speak, be speaking about faith and how Gideon's faith was set on fire. The story of Gideon begins in Judges chapter 6, if you would like to follow along in your Bible. The first ten verses of this chapter set the scene for us. We are told that the Midianites have overrun Israel and have been among them for seven years as a result of their disobedience to God. The setting we are given here is not a good one. It is so bad that in verse 2 it says the Israelites are even hiding in the mountains and in caves. We can see that the Israelites are definitely in need of a deliverer with strong faith. And the man that God chose to deliver Israel was Gideon. We find Gideon in verse 11 threshing wheat in a wine press to keep the Midianites from finding him. While he was working, an angel appeared to him and greeted him with, The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. I think that from Gideon's answer in verse 13, we can gather that Gideon is quite discouraged with the situation he is in and doesn't have very much faith at this point. But I think throughout this story, we can see Gideon's faith in God grow, or we could say set on fire. Until God, what we could say, until God was able to use him to deliver Israel from the, Israel, from the Midianites. Gideon asks the angel why all these troubles have come to him and his people. And essentially he's asking, where is God? But he's told by the angel that he is to be the deliverer of Israel. After being assured by the angel that the Lord will be with him and help him defeat the Midianites, he asks that the angel wait until he comes back with an offering. When Gideon comes back with some food, the angel tells him to place the food on a rock. The angel then touched the food with the staff he was holding, and fire came from the rock and consumed the offering. Then the angel disappeared. And in verse 22, it says that when Gideon perceived that he was an angel of the Lord, Gideon said, Alas, O Lord God, for I have seen an angel of the Lord face to face. Apparently, Gideon was afraid for his life because he was then told by God not to be afraid and that he would not die. In verse 25, God tells Gideon to begin by destroying the altar to Baal that was Ophrah, the town where he lived. Now this is where I think Gideon's faith begins to grow. Because it definitely was not easy for him to destroy an altar that his father had built. I mean, not just anybody, his father had built this altar. And that he was doing what God wanted him to do. Therefore, he put out a fleece of wool two different times. The first time, he asked that the wool be wet and the ground be dry. The second time, he asked that the fleece be dry and the ground wet. Both times, the Lord answered his prayer, strengthening his faith and reassuring him that the Lord was with him. I think this is an important aspect of the story because Gideon made absolutely sure that he was doing what God wanted him to do and then moved on in faith. Likewise, before we start to do something, we should always make sure that we are doing what God wants us to do, not just what we want to do. I think one of the reasons this story is in the Bible is so that we can have this example of using a fleece to be sure that we are doing what God wants us to do. After Gideon put out his fleeces, God told him in Judges chapter 7, verse 2 and 3, we're now in chapter 7, that he had too many soldiers and that he needed to send some home, which he did. And then again, in verses 3 to 7, God had Gideon send more soldiers home reducing his force to only 300 men. It definitely took a lot of faith to reduce his force from 32,000 down to just 300. But Gideon's faith and his army are now at a point where God can use them. His army is small, but they are men of courage and faith. And Gideon's faith has now grown to a burning flame. In verses 16 to 21, with God given instruction, Gideon and his small band of men completely defeat the vast army of Midianites. In this story, we have seen Gideon's faith go from almost no faith to a very strong faith. 
I believe we can learn from this story that God can use us to do anything, no matter what the circumstances are. The leader that God chose in this story was not an important person. He was not a Levite, or priest, or ruler, and he considered himself the least in his father's house. But he allowed God to set his faith on fire. How did this happen? He trusted in God and let God be the one who gave the orders. He allowed the Holy Spirit to ignite his faith in God, and he followed all his instructions exactly. And I'm also quite sure that he had a strong prayerly relationship with God. Because, Jesus says in Matthew chapter 17, verses 20 and 21, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say to this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible to you. Howbeit this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. If we have a strong relationship with God, all things are possible. Let's be like Gideon and set our faith on fire today. Amen. Amen.